Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm from Georgia, to PBC. It's not in America. It's in Europe. I am familiar with Georgia. Maybe the people in the chat are not. So thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Do many people get it wrong? That uh, you let me join you. Um, it's such a good uh, content you have. Uh, it, it really helps me a lot. Thank you for that. Uh, unfortunately, in Georgia, we don't celebrate Halloween. Mm. Uh, I don't know, we don't have this tradition, but I also uh, always follow like um, in America and in Europe, you guys celebrate, it's so cool. It's really, really um, nice. I hope one day we, we yes. can we can have uh, keep up with this tradition. Let's see. I don't know. I think it's a very Western thing to do, but I'm curious, does Georgia have any local festivals that are celebrated well, yeah, in Georgia? It's it's mostly about the uh, you know capital city Tbilisi. Uh, we celebrate it for um, like uh, you know traditional foods outside outdoors you know, and um, yeah we make uh, Georgian like foods for example Khingali. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it. Uh, we drink wine, make shishlik uh, like barbecue outside. Mm. And, Sounds like a great place. Uh, yeah, and these uh, uh, festivals, uh, at these festivals, like outside, when you go out, it's such a good smell of a uh, barbecue smell. Mm. I mean, everywhere. I love go. barbecue, so I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, it's but it's more like um, shashlik. Uh, not not really like um, any kind of barbecue. It's a pork meat. Sure. <laughs> but it sounds very nice still. So do you think uh, the English in Georgia is good? What do you mean? Like uh, language? Like people's English in general in uh, well, the area uh, where you mostly, live. Mostly, if you think about the um, age-wise, you know, the uh, people who study at university, they are more, more like fluent in English. But uh, uh, at the age like uh, from 40 to, to 50, they don't really speak at all. Uh, they do know hello, hi, they can give you directions, go forward, <laughs> left, sure. right, and that's yes. about it, I think. Probably because it's more traditional, right? It's not super like a Western country. Well, we used to be so Soviet Union, and so um, people more speak in Russian, unfortunately, than in English. Yeah. Um, but uh, like teenagers, uh, they have absolutely different different opinions, and uh, we already start to like be fond of English. Long time ago, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's about politics as well. Sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> so why are you learning English? Well, uh, because um, I do need it for, for my job, and I find your content so helpful. Like I never got a chance to thank you for it. I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> and uh, well, that was just a coincidence that I got to speak to you right now to appreciate you, like. Uh, right now right here well we are happy to have you and uh, glad you're enjoy the content <laughs> yeah all right so uh, I hear like a Halloween party is like uh, you're from um, I'm sorry I joined you the just Netherlands like also in Europe. <laughs> Netherlands, yeah. Uh, and the Halloween parties, uh, like, do you go door to door uh, there too? Like, uh... No, like we have a local festival in the Netherlands uh, mm. where we go door to door, but it's not Halloween. We do this for a different festival, which is called St. Martin, which has to do with a saint from a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I get, I get it. I get yes. it. So uh, Halloween is, I think it's a really American thing that kind of spread over the world. And sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Yeah, absolutely agree. Mm. Okay. But it is nice to have local festivals like that, especially if they have good food, <laughs> like in Georgia. Absolutely, yeah. Have you tried Georgian food? Uh, not recently, absolutely not. But as long as there's kind of meats like you're describing, it sounds good to me. 
Well, Georgian people are really hospital people. Uh, we do uh, take hospitality uh, like really serious, let's say like that. And you're really welcome to uh, visit us. We would be That's really... awesome. Do you think your your people feel kind of pride for being hospitable? Oh yeah, it's been like uh, centuries like that, um, and we do have a long history, to be honest. So uh, the uh, first thing that comes in my mind right now is that like uh, from uh, from historic books, every every Georgian uh, was so welcome for any. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so. And, uh let me ask you one last question if i would come to georgia what is the one thing i should you know visit or see well for when, when the uh, tourists come here first thing that they see is uh, our old city uh old city in Tbilisi, of course uh you're gonna see a uh, very beautiful architecture build, architectural buildings here and um and uh this uh, street called leselite has so much inspiring sightseeing that you could see and the churches as well they are really really old like from nine 9th century and the drawings inside it it's really inspiring it's spiritual and uh, you could feel the aura when you go inside the charge. And, that is uh, awesome. I love history and I'm an architectural engineer, so buildings yeah. always are fascinating. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. well, uh, you, will, you would appreciate to see mm -hmm. then uh, all these charges when you come here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what else? Uh, then uh, I would advise you to go uh, outside of uh, um, Tbilisi. We, our old capital city was called Tsreta. And uh, it also has lots of beautiful buildings like uh, architectures. Uh, and um, uh, you could try so much good food there, like very good uh, food. Lots of restaurants that uh, cook like uh, old uh, traditional foods. Um, that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and people are really hospitable. You would really love it. I think that makes a country also nice when the people, you know, like for you to be there and like to also show you around. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's so, such a pride to do that, uh, mm -hmm. do that, you know, uh, for all of us, I think. And yeah. we all try to show the best sides of our country. So that makes sense. It, it yes. takes, let's say like that. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about Georgia. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. What do you think about my English level? I think your English is very easy to understand. The speed is very good. And um, I, I can hear that you learned a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Thanks to you. But uh, I actually joined you um, not for a long um, ago. It's been like uh, one month mostly. Uh, and it was like a discover discovery for me. I, I've seen so many uh, influencers uh, like doing the same contact uh, like mm -hmm. you. Oh, teacher. I don't like the word influencer whatsoever. I'm oh, yeah, just an okay. English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's say like that. It's better. Mm. Uh, well, they they don't really do so deeply like, uh, um, let's say, the uh, live streams that you get the opportunity to actually practice. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have like small uh, video uh, videos, but um, it's that's about it. So yes. it, you were really discovery for me. Um, same thing, well, I'm same glad thing. to hear that, and I hope you at least stay for one more month. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no, well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay for a long, long time, I guess. And awesome. I, I also cho um, joined you in Telegram. I've seen such a good materials there too. I'm, I really appreciate it. I'm so glad to hear that, and glad that you're having a good time in the community too. Thank you so much for calling with me. Thank you as well. All right. See you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.